Zelensky recently described Putin's denazification of Ukraine as laughable. And the brainwashed flock of the mainstream media certainly must agree. They have been told that Nazis wave the American flag and vote Republican. And the brainwashed flock always believe what they are told. But those of us still cleaving to our sanity remember that Nazis were members of Hitler's National Socialist Party from the 1930s and 40s. And not only were there thousands of Nazis in Western Ukraine back then, it is still a big part of their national pride. Nazi war criminal Stepan Bandera is a national hero. And there are actual Nazi organizations still thriving in Ukraine, including the Azov Regiment, which is now a part of Ukraine's armed forces. The Nazification of Ukraine is well documented and easily verified, as is the Nazification of America. During the 1930s, there were many notable Americans who supported the Nazis, such as Prescott Bush, Henry Ford, and Fred Koch. Banks such as J.P. Morgan and Chase Manhattan. Companies such as General Motors, Standard Oil, Shell, and IBM. Major General Smedley Butler of the U.S. Marines was asked by these powerful entities to help them install National Socialism in the United States. I appeared before the Congressional Committee, the highest representation of the American people under subpoena to tell what I knew of activities, which I believe might lead to an attempt to set up a fascist dictatorship. I was supposed to lead an organization of 500,000 men, which would be able to take over the functions of government. And when that plan failed, war broke out in Europe with the support of the banks and these American corporate entities. After World War II, only about a dozen were brought to justice at the Nuremberg trials. The Catholic Church and the Vatican helped thousands of Nazis evade capture via the rat lines, which brought them mostly to South America, where they built an entire town in Argentina. In Operation Paperclip, the United States secretly absorbed thousands of Nazis into the U.S. government, where they led the NASA space program and helped pioneer the military-industrial complex as well as Big Pharma.